nonfiction about all of us. Um, so, uh, can't wait to read that. Um, so that's the thing, every time I travel around the country I get to see John again and Kathy and, and all the people here. And, so um, somebody said, you know, do you, do you miss your home? And you know, I've got really cute kids. Oh my goodness! But I also have a lot of, um, you know, visiting to do. So uh, I, uh, I'm, I'm really, I'm very happy to be here. And um, I'm from the Hudson Valley. And this is a, this. Uh, I'm going to sing this song from um, Hudson Valley. I was um, there was a uh, there's a beautiful mountain that was seen as sort of the beginning of the environmental movement in the Hudson Valley. Which is called Storm King, and um, it used to be called Butter Hill. And folks say if it was called Butter Hill, it never would have been the beginning. Of, but we, you know, people fought for Storm King uh, to not have a big electric plant built on it. And um, I was thinking, somebody asked me to write a song in one night uh, that was inspired by stories that he was recording by uh, Pete Seeger. And Pete Seeger actually lives across the Hudson River from Storm King Mountain. He lives at Storm King, and um, and he doesn't like to get a lot of credit, but he's really beloved in our area. He shows up at a lot of different places and sings songs, and I just imagine him talking to Storm King and saying, Storm King, you are very majestic, and Storm King went, Pete, I'm sorry, I've got to give it to you. You're pretty iconic yourself. <laughs> so, um, my mind kind of is this, like, I, I wrote a little play in my mind, you know, of, of the two of them talking to each other, but luckily for you, I've distilled it, uh, and um, this is a song that I wrote in one. 